A message from me. ESPN presents Major League Baseball Magazine. This week's cover story, The Year in Review. No, not that stuff. This stuff. It's a bug. bug. Well, we've seen it all now. We'll show you why pitching is not always what it's cracked up to be. provide a not-so-newsworthy postscript to the postseason. Got tomahawk chops and green weenies. Strange things in this spirit. This is Warner Fusell for Major League Baseball Magazine. By now, you've probably seen most of the milestones from the 1991 season. So we thought we'd bring you our slightly askew version of the year in review, starting in the spring. <laughs> You see, anyone can show you what happens when the bat hits the ball. That's baseball. But we'd like to look back on the underbelly of baseball, those vintage offbeat moments, like when bat hits ball, hits bat. And Magadan tries to get out of the way, and they're going to win the ball game. The bat almost hit Magadan. He ducked, did not catch the ball. I don't believe what I just saw on one of the most unusual plays I have ever seen. The bat broke in half, almost hit Magadan. He ducked to get out of the way, and the bat did not feel the ball. And the Mets are going to have a very, very tough loss. Wow. Down to Mattingly. He'll step on the bag, and now they'll have to get the tag. assumed he was out and Espinosa went over there and tagged him. Well, we have more dolls landing in our uh, pigeons, pigeons landing in front of uh, Trammell. Now there are four of them out there. Here's a 3-2 pitch and a liner right at Crab. That scatters him. Crab knocked it down but cannot throw. Unbelievable. You got a ballpark this size <laughs> and he lines one right into the pigeons and uh, away they go. That's an owl in case you're wondering. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the few fans who looks at Canseco and says, who? They said, hey, Jose, the rumor in New York is you're a night owl. <laughs> what are they going to do? Expect him to pick up a baseball? <laughs> oh, the poor baby. You know, I did read it a year ago. Yes. Canseco absolutely loves animals. Larry McCoy. Is that Larry? No, oh, that's Derwood. Derwood, Derwood Merrill. Get away, Derwood. Leave a little opening at the top, guys. Mike Sims, the schedule hitter, but he's been called back to the Houston dugout. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe he got, must have gotten something in his ear. What in the world happened? 
open to Mike Sims. Maybe a bug flew in there or something. I don't know. Sims looks like, looks like he's hurting a little bit. He really does. I wonder if he got stung by something. Might be. They continue to examine apparently the right ear of Mike Sims. Maybe a bug got inside there or something. Oh, got a, look, at, look at that. Maybe he got a Q-tip stuck in there or something. He is obviously in a little bit of pain. It's a it bug. was a bug. Well, we've seen it all now. Swarms of those angry, thirsty, hungry bugs <laughs> off the shores of Lake Erie at the Cleveland Stadium. There's somebody under the tarp. Look at that. Wow. Here he comes. Not a hair out of place. <laughs> wow, what an experience. Do you hit any differently on the road than you do in Boston? Do you approach the pitch any different? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like some of those paid assassins got him. Now, Joe, I'm not sure that we know who those were. We, we didn't get any license plate numbers on this. Leo Mazzoni comes up. Wait a minute. This is a second visit. Yes, it is. That's it, and they forgot, oh, and man. that is and a there's nobody in big, the... gigantic oh. foul up. And now the Braves have no one in the bullpen, and it's a second visit out of the dugout, and that means Juan Berenguer is out of this game. And that's just a mistake. Joe Morgan to the mound. And they're going to make the change right now. And bring in Dennis Lamp. I don't think he was called yeah. in the game, Ned. No, he hasn't been. He has come in, and Morgan has said, go back, young man. I'll tell you what, Ned, I have never, never seen this before in the years that I spent in the big leagues. Tom Lasorda is not in the dugout. Back in the dressing room. Maybe he wants to listen to us and see what we have to say about the Dodgers. We need a picture of you, Tom. Come on out. Yeah, we certainly hope he's all right. With heat as it is, 103 right here. There he is. Look. Now he's saying he's here. <laughs> <laughs> he was listening to us. He says he's healthy, feeling good. He's just worried about you, Tom. That's all. <laughs> worried about your health. <laughs> Our play of the year belonged to Superman in the minors. And our super fan of the year is from Toronto, but belongs, well, you tell us. That's gone. Carter's second home run. I mean, another upper tank job. Another no doubter. This guy caught the baseball on the fly, and I've never seen a fan more happier in my life. He's going to kill him, John. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Season, where things are not always as they appear, and some reservations are heard from concerning a cheer. Here's Jane Fonda with a double shot. And Ted Turner, the owner of the Atlanta Club. <laughs> President Carter doing away. Everybody's caught up in this. They're rocking the stand. Hey, what are you doing? Looks like San Francisco, the way they're moving those stands. And the Tomahawk Chop, the pilot to bear ship Shamu. They have the best seats in the house. We have one pirate and uh, one brave. When pirates start shopping, it's time to yield to things more important down on the field. Is that pigeon part of the rotation play? <laughs> what base does he cover? You wouldn't see that on AstroTurf. Andy Van Slyke has to do some housekeeping out in center field. That's a green weenie all dressed up that has to be taken off the field. He dropped his scarf. Olsen down to second, two out. 
Lean playing around, hiding behind. <laughs> Thought he was picking his pocket. It looks like he's got the spirit, Tim. Well, he's had the spirit. He just hasn't had the hits. Ball is fouled, and it's 2-2. Two -two. And the commissioner is with us. Hey, Vincent. He's got a ball with his name on it. <laughs> he already autographed. He's already autographed. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's right the away, green weenie, down. I believe, isn't it? <laughs> got tomahawk chops and green weenies. I One never, of the strange I... things in this series. And now, straight from the World Series, the final episode of Bill and Sue's Excellent Adventure. We're getting a little excited outside the Metrodome. Here's the scene about an hour before game two. Here are some demonstrations going on by Native Americans at the Twins game, demonstrating against the Tomahawk Chop. Two American Indians subjected you to ridicule. If we had something like the Rosebud Rock, you would do very tells me that these people aren't going to get along very well with the people on the other side of the building. Four police officers here. I think they, like, stopped the ambush. Did you get hit, too? Well, the pregame confrontation has taken place. Now we're headed inside for game two. Braves fans' enthusiasm doesn't seem to be tempered much by the fact that they lost the first two games in Minnesota. And we've arrived at Fulton County Stadium. Game three in Atlanta was really good, even if it did last till five minutes and one in the morning. And the Braves won, so we'll get to see at least one more World Series game. You guys have school tomorrow? What time does it start? 8.30. <laughs> what time do you have to get up? Now. <laughs> David, you're doing a documentary about baseball for the BBC? That is correct, sir. And you have now been to how many games? This is my fifth game. Now, after five baseball games, what are you? What, what are the impressions? My first impression is that it's better than cricket. Really? Yes. Yes, and I play quite a bit of cricket, but I actually think that this is a fabulous game. And you realize that whilst I'm talking to you, I'm being filmed by my own crew, <laughs> saying these things that can be held against me back in Britain. So, <laughs> so it's game five tonight. Braves and the Twins. We're excited. I think that I'm more excited about game five than any of them so far. It's all even. And the tide begins to turn tonight. The last out has been recorded at Fulton County Stadium. Braves 14 to 5 winners over the Twins. So now with a 3 to 2 lead, they go back to Minnesota. Well, we're back in Minneapolis for the sixth game in the series. And there's quite a difference in weather between this and Atlanta. I have an Alaska sweatshirt on, and it feels like Alaska today. It's cold in Minneapolis. Well, you've heard it's been called the Thunderdome here in Minneapolis. And uh, these two girls seem to have come up with a racket on earplugs. Earplugs for a dollar. Because of the controversy in Minneapolis over the tomahawk, they got rid of that part of the Braves logo. Win to the Braves, go to the ninth in Minneapolis. Three runs apiece. The World Series games just don't get any better than it's been in game six here today. It's a cool, drizzly night in Minneapolis. And tonight, our last, this is our 199th game tonight. Game seven of the 1991 World Series. Gene Larkin, hardly a household name for game seven of the World Series, has a chance to make himself one here. Wins with the bases loaded in the last of the ten. One out. So the Minnesota Twins, the world champions,
trivia questions are a part of baseball. But as Tom Seaver discovered this year, you don't ask Phil Rizzuto. Okay, I got a quiz for you. Sir. Yes, sir. You ready for a quiz? I'm ready. This is a good one. All right, I'll give you, let's see, we got two outs in this inning, so you'll have a, you're have, there's a number of answers to this quiz. Okay, go ahead. There's a multiple question. And actually, there are nine answers to this quiz. <laughs> One for every position on the baseball team. Oh, okay. Okay. In baseball, there have been nine back-to-back -back winners of the most valuable player award. One at each position. Who are they? All right, catcher. Let's go to catcher. You got, we got, you got the game in the catcher. Well, Yogi. maybe somebody didn't listen to the last oh, half Yogi of the Oh, okay. Yogi, Yogi Berra. And I didn't get that either. Michael K gave me that. Cataray will check Anderson. I mean, you think of first base, you think of Lou Gehrig, right? Now. And that's a good guess. And it's wrong. It's wrong, but it's a good <laughs> guess. <laughs> oh, you're mean. You're cruel. <laughs> Just when I, I think I got something. Would you would you want an easier quiz like who's married uh, <laughs> bearing Grant's tomb? No, no. What? Come on. No, no. I, this is good. I mean, it gives me something to think about. It, as long as you're thinking, you keep your brain working. It's 10:32. Do you know where your children are? <laughs> See, when you talk, you I lose my train of thought. Ooh, train, what a clue. Could be Walter. Oh, Walter Johnson. Oh, it's an excellent guess. And it's wrong. It's wrong, but it's an excellent <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh. Let's see. We'll let's go to, uh, let's go to the outfield. Outfield, outfield. okay. Mickey Mantle. That's an excellent oh, guess. Oh, but it's wrong. Man, it's correct. It's correct? <laughs> All right, let's see. Right field now. Now, it just, it's outfielders. It doesn't have to oh, be. Hey, it could be National League, too. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> Did the light just go on in this booth or what? How about Stan Musial? <laughs> there. That's an excellent guess. And that really is an excellent guess. Yeah, however, it happens to be wrong, but it's an excellent <laughs> guess. Oh, gee. Okay, this game's going to have to go to <laughs> no, 12 o'clock to get rid of this quiz. Oh, I'll wait a minute. Man. I'm going to get it. Don't don't give up on me. Oh. Outfield. Outfield. doesn't have to be my outfielder. Just an outfielder. Just an outfielder. Just an outfielder. Yeah. Doesn't that you could have played any one of the positions? Willie Mays. Yeah, I knew you'd get to it sooner or later. That's a great guess. But? That's wrong. <laughs> 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 Boy, you, you got, he's got that sharp knife out tonight, boy. Uh, you guessed Mickey Mantle, right? Yes, I guess Mickey Mantle. Now, Roger Maris. Very good. That's an excellent guess. But? And it also <laughs> happens to be correct. Correct? Oh, you got to be kidding. Is it really? Yes, Maris and Mantle, of course. Wow. 60-61, is it? Or 61-62? Right. I know 61 is one of them, but right. that's when he... That's, now, I'll give you a clue. The outfielders all begin with the letter M. Maris, Mantle, and... Well, not Mage. <laughs> M. Maris, Mantle, and... He won them for Atlanta. Oh, Murphy. Yeah, Murphy. Very good. Murphy. So you got Murphy, Mantle, and Mays in the outfield. No. Now, Murphy, Mantle, and Mara, excuse me, in the outfield. Okay. And behind home plate, Yogi, Yogi Berra. Okay, now. Third baseman. Are we going to take this long on each one? No. I'm going to have to call down and ask him to no, slow the game no, down. No, no, we we, we're going to get it. I got it. I got the third baseman. And Mike he, Schmidt. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Again? Schmidt and Scooter will be back. With Joe Morgan. Yeah. As the second baseman. MVP. Is, that, is that your guess? That's my guess. And that's an excellent guess. But? And you're correct. I, <laughs> it's another M, see? Another M, very good. Who wants a lot of M? Yeah. Yeah. Now the shortstop. And let's say I give you a clue. He Just, won this back-to-back -back MVP shortstop. And won it twice in a row for a last place team. 
Matt. No. Ernie Banks. Very good. Excellent guess. But and correct. Oh, oh, oh. Now that was a good hint. Yeah, that was good. That was a I'm good trying hint. to give you a good hint. Now first base. And first base. Just a little. A little hint is all I ask. That's all. Not just a little, like a little creature running through the woods, you mean, or what? Yeah, just... Is that a hint? Is that part of, the, part of the puzzle? You're getting sharper. First base. First base, one of the it's best little... clues. I mean, it really gets you. We were trying to be sly with you. Yeah. We... Sly creatures uh, going red, 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 gray, gray, silver. And the answer. With Jimmy Fox. Thank you very much. Now the pitcher. Well, Saver, I didn't think I was going to get it before the end of the game. But you gave me two clever hints. And ah, you're a prince of a guy. You know that, Scooter. I don't know. As soon as you said prince, Hal Newhouser. And you played against him. I played a goal, yes. Sure. Many times. Sure, must have. Many times. Great. That's a fun quiz, wasn't it? I, mean, I think that, that was fun. great. I like things like that. More fun, 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 fun quiz. And now it's time for the Upper Deck Stat of the Week. Nobody does baseball like Upper Deck. Our Stat of the Week, pitching. Acknowledged by those in the know to be 90% of the game. And that'll do it. Langston, a complete game victory. The Yankees have been shut out. Done tonight by the left-hander Jim Abbott, a seven-hitter. will go down to first, and Finley finishes with a flourish. Lucky now, Ryan Harvey comes on in the ninth inning, gets the Tigers one, two, three. Unfortunately for the Angels, the other 10% wasn't too good. for next week, the best of Major League Baseball magazine. Yogi, I like to keep fit. Work out every day, gym, road work, you know. What do you eat to keep yourself going? I always eat puss in boots. This is Warner Fusel. Major League Baseball magazine is presented by Wheaties. Better get your whole grain, better eat your Wheaties. The number one airline. Home videos. Call 1-800-328-8500 to order your copy of Baseball's Record Breakers.